The ocean is a really dark place. Very little light gets below 200 meters. A marine animal's whole world is sound. It's how they talk to each other, evade predators, eat, mate, and love their babies. Low frequency sound travels really well through water over long distances without losing important information. The ocean is really big, so that's a good thing. But humans use this same low frequency sound to look for oil and gas under the ocean floor. Seismic surveys are one of the loudest sounds we make in the ocean. And those blasts can be heard thousands of miles away. Scientists have observed marine life freaking out in response to that noise. Humpback whales, bowhead whales, and porpoises bounce from feeding and breeding areas used for generations. Turtles flee. Fish swim deeper to avoid the ruckus. Some marine animals also kind of give up on life. Sperm whales eat way less during seismic surveys. Bowhead whales try screaming at first to be heard over seismic air gun noise, and then they go silent. They're solitary species. If they aren't talking to each other, they likely aren't breeding. Seismic air gun noise also hurts marine animals' bodies. Fish and turtle ears are damaged. Fish brains don't develop right. Scallops grow into deformed adults. Snow crab ovaries are bruised. And marine mammals get super stressed out. Chronic stress is known to weaken animal immune systems and interfere with making babies. Dozens of marine scientists have written to the government out of profound concern over these impacts. The only way to stop marine life from being harmed by seismic surveys is to ban seismic surveys.